Hello and welcome. How are you doing today? Today I like I like to show you that how to use very useful electric device and meter and this is this uh, digital meter where I can measure different kind of things and today I like to show you that how to measure this ohm ohm amounts and there is now when we go to look this closer, there is that kind of symbol in there what means ohms. And this ohm meter is very nice. This, uh, this symbol in here and that means in, in my understanding because I am not a professional electric engineer and I am professional machine engineer but I know quite a much of electricity this ohms means that we can in car car parts and car electric parts we can measure many things that are those our electric parts okay or broken and today I like to show a couple of things what we can measure this is standard halogen like this heavy duty working lights bulb and soon I will show you that how to check that is this okay or broken using that ohm meter and then I have also in here uh, car car standard light bulb what is in here in my hand and even that it is a little bit dense, this is workable pulp. And then the last and most interesting part is that that I have in here diesel engines, globe plug, and this uh, diesel engines, this uh, this diesel fuels heater. What what is very common parts in all those diesel engines and this this globe block comes from German car what what brand is Volkswagen and, and similar parts we can found in Audi cars too okay and this is Boss brand globe block okay and all of these parts could be now broken or okay in that part and that part and that part and now I show to you that how to check these parts status using that digital meter and especially how to use this ohm scale. Excellent. And I have made in here some comments that what I like to tell you. And this first step is always when we are planning to start to use some device like in that one that how expensive is this tester because some testers like if we, if we like to measure our Toyota Camry's smoke results those testers are huge expensive they cost like 5000 euros per tester and it is, it is not the wise purchase so expensive parts but this tester is very cheap, not, not much money. This cost about 20 US dollars or 20 euros in any special uh, car spare part shop or then in Amazon.com is a good place to purchase that kind of devices. This is electric uh, meter, what measures there is black like minus and red like plus cables and and this was the first thing that these are not very expensive and then then there is important thing this scale and ohms and because here when we look these amounts in here we can see that that there there are different kind of those numbers in here and first there is 200 2000 2000k and uh, sorry 200k 
and 2000 K. And that means that, that the smallest number measures numbers and ohms what are 0 to 200, like very, very small ohm amounts. And then this 2000 is like 0 to 2000, it is more bigger, and this is like kilo, like 20,000 ohms, and then 200,000 ohms, and this is the biggest, like 2 million ohms. That's the biggest one. And idea is that, that always we must to start measure all things, the bigger one, uh, this scale amount. And it happens so that I rotate that uh, steering in here and we can see the digital meter is moving. And first I measure to start to measurement using the biggest amount. And why, why, why it's that kind of rule? There is rule that if we measure some very uh, Powerful, powerful thing, it can destroy our measurement devices in that device. That's it is always to good start the measurement using the biggest and most uh, powerful scale. And then we rotate that scale in to, to smaller one. And final step is this 0 to 200. Excellent. Okay, and that was the point number number two how to use that measurement and next third topic is that measure halogen pulp status is this broken or okay there is point three and point four there is same comment in this four and and there is idea that if this measurement thing gives result what is zero? It means that the dentist pulp is broken. And let's go to start this measurement. And it happens so that that I need both of these these heads, these sharp points, and I need to connect. There is this metallic area in there. I need to connect that part in here and this opposite part, what is in here. I need to connect that red cable in here and, and then I need to press that a little bit in, in that compression. Not too much, but there should be this contact. And then we same time look at that, that measurement scale and I, I start this measurement using, <coughs> using this biggest amount what was in there and there is now number zero and let's check that what result I can get and now it seems that okay now there happens something it seems that there is zero zero that that means that if there is some movement we need to rotate that circle in and the switch to smaller one okay and let's go to check that I press and it is still, there is this still zero, I need smaller amounts in here. And let's check again. Okay, now there is amount, what looks that there is zero point zero five. Okay, and I need so even smaller amount. Now we have <coughs> scale zero to two thousand. And that's, I test that. And now it gives amount what is something like 40 or 50 or 70. It moves there 033 3 is, is this amount in here. Check in here. That means that now when we can get so accurate amount, it, 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 this, that amount moves because I have difficulties to make this right connection all the time. There is 0, 3, 3, like 33 is this ohms. Okay, and then I rotate that the final step. And let's look the result. There should be something like 33. 
And now there is amount what is 33.3. There is this scale amount. Okay. And that means that that now this this bulk is fine and we can because this is glass we can check that is this is this uh, inside electric cable solid and because this is glass we can see that yes it is also solid and that's the second proof that this bulb is fine okay excellent okay and then if this this bulb is broken there is this amount zero okay and then next third Fifth, fifth uh, test is measure diesel glow plug uh, this result. And now there is a situation that this is this diesel engine's glow plug and there is small cable in inside in there. And this measurement happens so that first tester this sharp point in here and second in here. And let's look that. What, what happens and I scale first the biggest one and there connection and there and there is now result zero zero and that means that there is something I rotate to 200 kilos again zero I rotate that in here zero zero and, and in here again zero zero and the final one now should give some result. Okay, now there is small, small amount zero point zero eight, and that means that this part is 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 okay, and there is small coil inside this metallic head, and it is fine. And that tells that that this this glow plug in diesel engine is okay. Okay, and then. Then test number six, measure pulp ohm amount. And if and now I am talking that pulp and there is a situation that this wire is still okay. Even that that this this glass is is here away and we can test that, that how what result we can get in that point okay and then I I measure that is this my pulp okay even that there is this glass is away but I think that because there is this electric wire that this pulp should be okay and this is the final test and most interesting test I start this my test scale so that I insert that my part in here and then I should connect that part in this small part in that area and another in this metallic part in this way. And it gives to us zero result and I rotate that in smaller one. It gives again zero result to smaller one and, and then Again, zero to smaller one. We will find that amount. Now there is number five in this scale in here. And even smaller one, it is maybe 50. Okay, now there is 5.5. .5. Okay, and that means that, that this, this pulp is fine. And next I will do the, that critical and most important testing because there is this part and we can see that there is small wire I will broke and I will cut that electric pulp wire okay and I take my scissors and there is this my my this there is this my Pulp. and let's look closer yes now we can see that, that there is really this metallic part and there is this glass cover and next I cut using my scissors that small 
metallic wire okay and now now it is open now it's closed and then I little bit even move that because sometimes these bulbs can be okay if they take connection okay now there is enough this space that they don't take contact and now when I do that my on meter test it should be so that here is zero amount in here because this bulb is now really broken in here and in here and yes now this my scale it is actually not zero it is the one and that means that it is now this connection point that that I have not even touched in this this my tester sharp points and there is this result one and then when I try to test that in here there is still this one and that means that if there is no any movement in here this pulp is broken and let's check that in visually it is really it is really broken and then there is chance that I can fix that my pulp so that I reconnect these parts again and then let's check my my grandfather he fixed these pulps in that way in 1940s and now because those parts are together I think that this pulp should work almost like one second it is not let's check okay yes and we can see this ohm meter amount and it tells that that now this pulp should be again uh, should be okay but the true story is that this is not okay because I have cut this electric cable if there is any any vibration this glass is broken and, and no, not workable okay excellent and this was that my information how to use this excellent own meter with this multi digital meter and I like a lot of measure these things and sometimes if these bulbs are broken uh, or black it is really difficult to see this wire and, and especially in that glove plug in diesel engine it is impossible to see inside in this metallic cover because this wire is it inside this metallic tube and now I am meaning that kind of wire what is in here okay and thank you for watching and have a nice day to you